away here in Wilkes-Barre. As the headman gain control, here's Nolan now across for Bailey. Both throw that into the right end where Cunningham takes over. Now over for Mariotti, D to D. He'll come back for Cunningham. Now up the wall for Campbell. That one avoids a couple of sticks. Kuzmenski takes over. They'll chase it into the corner. Nolan, Bailey's there for the hitmen. He'll chip up the wall. That's knocked down by a few Knights players as Nolan guides it a little further. Mariotti keeps it at the line. His shot over the net. As Campbell takes it on the half wall, he'll play it below the net. Player back, D to D again. He'll end up with the clock. He'll start off the ice. As he'll clear that one out of the zone. Knights go D to D. Mariotti with it. He'll throw that one in deep on the left side and works its way to the right. Here's Kuzminski on the half wall. He'll leave one for showing. That's knocked off his stick as the hitmen start their way out. And yeah, right off the bat, we're seeing the Knights defense. They're a lot more active than jerseys are. They're getting active. They're jumping in on the forecheck as well, and it's led to a lot more pressure from the Knights. Absolutely. It's showing with a big hit. However, that's going to end up a penalty. That's his left side. Yeah, excited to see this Knights power play get to work here. Hitman penalty number 24, Jack Vanderplatt. Two minutes for cross -check. That's Vanderplatt, two minutes for cross -check. As showing headman's the puck for Penetrante. Now Kuzmenski, they'll reset things. Back for Penetrante. Through the middle looking for Schoen, can't find him. Carter's gonna be able to clear that one himself. Quite a difference from yesterday's goaltending with Frank Smith, he didn't come out to play the puck much. The Knights will have to look into that on their dumps. As Cunningham moves it up for Penetrante in front of the hitman bench. Cunningham keeps it at the line. Now the battle for it on the half wall as the hitmen are going to be able to clear. They'll change two as the Knights counter attack here. Hosnauer up for Schoen on the left boards. He'll drop one for Hosnauer, now on the half wall and into the corner. He'll make his way behind the net. He's looking up top. That's Treen. He'll leave one for the wall. Penetrante is going to be the first one there. He'll throw it into the corner. Hosnauer of the city go to chase. Hosnauer takes over. He'll wrap it around to an empty defensive right point. Strong kill from the hitman. Very Adam. Yep. As Katarski goes to battle behind the net. Gardana with it. Now Reese back for Gardana. Well, that's a strong poke check from Reed and goal. Absolutely. He's got a very active stick and something we've noticed in the past couple of games he's played here. As the hitmen start off the ice, he's in there. Got Reese heading to the net. Looks for him. He can't control the pass. Now Verdino in the corner. Looked like a break for the Knights. Puck jumped over the stick of the hitman, cutting right towards the front of the net with no one else there. As Kuzminski puts that one up on the dasher, that's going to end up on Verdino's three here. And just a lot of turnovers being forced by the Knights forwards right now on the forecheck. They continue to put pressure on those defensemen for the hitmen. They don't have any time to get those breakout passes right now. Definitely. That's something we've seen all season with this Knights forecheck. Uh, it's definitely been a recipe for success so far, as we've seen with their record. Here's Katarski for the Knights. He'll ring this one around the boards, looking for Campbell. Now Campbell has it knocked off his stick. Kuzmanski throws it through Schoen. Now Nolan has it. He'll go off the wall and out. As Train has it, he'll just throw it in deep. Nolan takes over for the hitman. As the Knights go back to work on the full check, Katarski with it on the left point. His shot just deflected wide. Kuzmanski behind. A good opportunity there for Schoen. And then quite a slash on Campbell there in front by Nolan. Yeah, and Campbell's having some words. Uh with not only the officials, but Nolan as well. We know this night's team to be pretty feisty. Yesterday as well, between these two teams, there were just a couple of odd line changes that could have changed things as Campbell steps in the way of that shot. He's going right side, he gets whacked. No call, beautiful save by Carter with his pad. That's a bad no call by the officials, but Campbell also had the trailer coming in there. If he were, were able to pass that back, he would have been able to get a better shot off. Last minute of play in the first period, last minute. So uh, Garcia up the wall for the hitman. Cunningham cuts him off. He'll throw it behind. Kuzmenski's going to be the first one there for the Knights. He's worked off by Goble. His shot from Nolan blocked. Now Parikh takes over behind the net. 
He'll throw that one up the wall. Hit men are able to keep it. Here's Garcia. He'll play it along deeper. Showing there for the Knights. He'll push it back for Cunningham. Now up the wall for Kuzmenski with 30 seconds. He'll carry over the line. and As the plenty of rebounds have popped up so far this game. As the Knights are able to throw it in deep, showing in on the forecheck against Bailey. As Mariotti's going to pick that one up in the neutral zone. Now Cunningham at the red line. Kizmenski grabs it opposite side. He tries to throw it in, but Nolan knocks that down. Campbell in on the forecheck. He'll go D to D for Bailey and back again for Nolan. That's around him. Cochran with it now for the hitman. He'll jump the middle as Asante pushes that forward. He'll go into the corner, battle Cunningham. Asante throws that one in front, a good stick by Reed. As Campbell comes back, and he'll gain control of it and clear out. Now showing with it, he'll come up the left wing boards, throw it in deep and go for a chain play here. Vasily wins that face off. Showing on the backhand attempt, a beautiful pad save by Carter. Keep. Cunningham with it on the right wall. Now he'll go for Penetrante on the half wall. He's got space, he'll walk out in front. And another glove saved by Carter. Hitman penalty number 14, Mason Rushmeyer. Two minutes for holding. That's Rushmeyer, two minutes for holding. Yeah, and Penetrante, great chance there. A lot of open space. The Knights will take that all day long if you're giving them the half wall. As Cunningham walks the line, he'll throw it into the opposite corner for Vasily. Now up the wall for Kuzmenski. This Knights power play unit with four forwards. Showing up the wall for Penetrante. He'll work that half wall on our near side. Vasily comes over to help. Kierpka battling hard for the hitman. A great play by Kierpka as he's able to get that up for Carlucci as he goes for a change after dumping into the Knights' end. Kuzmenski behind the net for the Knights. He'll start his carry all the way up. He'll work his way down the bench side. Cut towards the middle. And he'll stop and buy time. Set things up on the power play as Cunningham takes over. Now across for Giordano. He'll go down low, a tip play. As Schoen gets that one off the pads of Carter. Cunningham has it at the line. He'll walk through the middle. Here's a slot, shot in the slot. As that one goes off the back wall, it stays in play. Looked like it hit the roof, but the officials said no, so we keep going. I want to say that's that cutoff area that we can't see underneath the stanchion. There's a little bit of room there. As we have him pulling up, still put the body on him, but definitely wasn't as big of a collision as it could have been. Absolutely. Parikh being a very tall player. Garcia not being that big and probably avoiding a penalty as he lighted up on the hip. Here's showing his shot into the chest. The rebound. Another save by Carter. Sprawling out post to post. As the there's another rebound. Another rebound once again as Campbell goes for work in the corner. He'll gain control. Now Kuzmenski. He'll have it in his feet. He'll battle, he'll throw it up the wall for Train. Train's going to keep it for Campbell. He'll look to throw one in front for Kuzmenski. That's deflected behind. Knights in on the forecheck again. As Katarski is going to take that one. He'll keep it at the line, make a good play. Now he'll outlet for Kuzmenski in the middle. That one off the skate of Campbell. Popped out front off of Carter. Puck behind the net. Nolan's going to throw that one up the wall. Kuzmenski with some time in front of the bench. He'll keep it and throw it in deep. Here's Campbell time and that one's going to end up in the glove of Carter as we got a whistle with 13.04. You're going to look forward to in their new signing. Hitman penalty number 14, Mason Rushmeyer. Two minutes for holding, hooking. That's Rushmeyer, two minutes for hooking. Yeah, there, and Carter there, you see he did a good job of securing that rebound. It's one of the first times he's been able to do that with the pads down low. So here's Vasily in for the faceoff blocker side of Carter. Visaki is able to clear it as high as Cunningham on the half wall. Now Vasily takes over. He'll play it deeper. He'll battle Visaki for the puck. Showing comes in to help. He'll gain control. Now up the wall, here's Cunningham. He'll move it through the middle for Kuzmenski. Now to the right half wall for Pentronte. He's looking for showing backdoor. Wasn't able to find him. Kuzmenski keeps that at the line. That could be a big play here on this power play. Showing down low. Now the puck pops through the middle. And Goble's able to clear the length of the ice. A minute 20 left on the power play here for the Knights. As Cunningham takes over behind the net. 
He'll throw one up for Kuzmenski. That's a little too far in front of him as Visaki's going to be able to throw it all the way back. Cunningham takes over, finds Penetrante on the near side boards. He's got Vasily on the drop, goes to showing behind the net. Now Cunningham up top. Back for your house now, across for Penetrante. His shot patted away by Carter. Another big rebound there. Vasily now up for Cunningham. Over for Pichante with a lot of space. The show in the middle, a beautiful save by Carter. And Show wanted got a to get a little one. bit more on that. Just couldn't get underneath it. Absolutely. Here as Reed stops it for Cunningham in the second. Knights lead 1-0. That's picked off by Kuzmenski. He'll go wide. Showing got run into. That's going to be a penalty on Nolan. Kuzmenski with it. He'll back one hand one into front as Carlucci touches up. As the Knights will get... A power play here with 6.28 as they'll look to capitalize as their third power play. A lot easier than it actually was. Absolutely. That's one of those spots a sniper will go for continuously as Cunningham walks through the slot. That one, a rebound in front. Vasily all over it. Carter all over the rebound as well as he'll the cover Knights, up. The Knights have found a hole in this hitman penalty kill. They get the guy on the point. Once you get that forward to commit, they just make a miss and go into the center. They've had multiple shots from the slot there without any traffic or anybody to uh, really knock them off. We've seen that play at least three or four times here alone in this period. Cunningham can't handle that one at the blue line. He'll throw it in deep. As the hitman take over, here's Visaki. He'll clear as far as Kuzmenski at the far blue line. He gets taken down. Here's Vanderplatt. Vanderplatt has his shot blocked by Cunningham. Kuzmenski's going to be the first one there for the Knights. As Asante pokes it by him, and Cunningham takes over behind the net. That's going to do it for the Knights' power plays. The Hitmen are able to provide a good kill there. Cunningham running up the ice. He gets knocked off the puck by McDade. Kuzmenski and Cunningham battle for it there. Vasily with the putt. Has that one right off the head of Carter. A, a really, grade really, A scoring chance. Really bad turnover for the Hitmen there. The Knights unable to capitalize, though. Yeah, the Knights are going to have to start capitalizing on these attempts as there's plenty of scoring chances, but they only lead 1-0 so far. They're showing in the corner. It was battled by two hitmen. Visaki ends up with the puck behind the net. Now McDade. He'll start up ice. The board bench side. Vanderplatt can't control it. Reed through. He'll gain the red line, throw it in deep. Just a minute 35 left here in the period. Katarski off the back wall for Cunningham. He'll play it up to the wall. As Campbell takes over, he'll jump to the middle, throw it in far side, looking for Kuzmenski on the forecheck. Nolan and Campbell in deep. Two on the puck here for the Knights on this forecheck. As Train's not able to keep that one, but avoids Asante being able to grab it. So good play there by Train. There's Nolan now in his own end. A minute 10 left in the period. He'll start back behind his own net. Now Carlucci in the corner. He's tied up by Schoen and Campbell. Last minute of play in the second period. Last minute. So a we'll battle for it along the boards. Nolan looking at the referee, waiting for a signal there. Asante comes out with it. He throws one cross ice. Hassenauer is able to throw it in deep. Nolan has it. He'll rip one up the boards. Good keep at the point by Train. He shoots a rolling puck. That's blocked by Carlucci. Now up. Cochran throws it in deep. Train back for it for the Knights. He'll avoid the hit. Come up the wall for Campbell. Campbell chips one out of the zone for Schoen. He's got some time and some space. Schoen cuts to the middle. Has his shot go wide of the net. Looking to go across the grain and shoot back door. Puck down low for the... And they just continued to send it in deep. Definitely. As we're underway here in the third, C.J. Reed is going to put that one into the bench. So we're stopped again. Just a mere four seconds into this third period. And you can see uh, Carlucci really, really cheating in there on those faceoffs. Still was not able to win it, though. As him and Schoen tie each other up, Cochran's going to come out with the puck for the hitman. He'll throw that in deep. Here's Perique for the Knights. He overskates it at first, but regains control. Here's Kuzmenski. We'll sauce one up, looking for Campbell. That goes a little bit too far ahead. As we'll get another whistle just 20 seconds into the period. And we'll get a face-off uh, blocker side of Reed. 
As we wait on the players to make that decision, that's a rule here in the USPHL off icings. They get to choose which side they want the face off. As Carlucci and Schoen go blocker side of Reed. Schoen wins that. Here's Parikh. Up the wall, Kuzmenski, that's off his skate. Schoen runs into his man, and the Knights are out. Three on two possibility, but Campbell throws it in deep. As him and Kuzmenski will go for a change. Schoen working the four check for the Knights. He'll throw that back in deep and then go for a change. A very disciplined first shift here for the Knights in the third period. Defensive end, it seems like the momentum has shifted. I know it hasn't been long since the Hitmen scored, but they have a lot more wind in their sails now. Absolutely. As Train runs over his man, that's Reese. As Schoen gains Kipak, he'll come in with speed. He just goes to his backhand. He's forced behind the line. As Kuzmetsky can't get control, three on the puck here for the Knights. In on that four check, C.J. Reed throws it in deep behind the net. Kuzmetsky's going to grab it on the opposite corner. Showing behind the net, can't come up with it. As Kierpka throws it high, Reed with a good kick to keep it in. Campbell can't control it, Rosen with it for the hitman. He tries to go wide for Reese, but it's knocked off of his stick. Here's Kuzmetsky, the toe drag at the blue line. Another one, Showing ends up with it. That one rings off the left post. And the rebound attempt by Campbell is padded into the corner by Carter. Another good save as the Knights look to feed off of this shift and get some energy going on the forecheck. And Dara chips that one up for Rosen. That's knocked off his stick. And here comes the Knights. Here there, Parikh gains control. He'll throw it in. Nolan with it now for the hitman. He'll move it across. Here's Coy. He'll throw that in deep. Reed goes back for it. Gandora there as well. Knights gain control, there's Chemnitz. That's moved along, Gandora again with it, behind the net. He's being harassed by Reed back there. Reed's gonna throw that one to the corner. Chemnitz battles Reese. Rosen with it in the corner, he'll take it behind the net. Parikh goes towards him. Now up top, Bailey finds Nolan. Nolan, the glove of Reed. As Chemnitz is able to clear over the head of Nolan. Campbell's going to beat the icing call. Mm, I, I thought I thought he beat the icing there. Uh, the official had a better angle of it than I did. So so we will get an icing play. I was a little premature on that one. Uh, so at 12.37, the Knights will face a defensive zone faceoff to the blocker side of Nick Reed. They'll have Schoen, Campbell, Kizmenski, Mariotti, and Cunningham, the five for the Knights. Rosen loses that one to Schoen. Here's Mariotti. He'll start up. Now Kuzmenski in the neutral zone. He'll throw it in deep. Schoen thought he was offside. He started to turn back. But he'll go in for the forecheck. Now Nolan with it. Up the wall. That gets around Reese. That goes the length of the ice. And we'll get an icing on the play with 12-15 remaining. And... As Campbell has it, he'll look through the middle for Train, the defenseman. As Schoen loses control of that one. Garcia throws it in off of Train's skates. And he's able to put it all the way in. Here's Asante now in the opposite corner. Reed runs into him. Schoen runs into Kiyosi, the goal scorer for the hitmen. Visaki has it knocked off him by Campbell. He'll start up ice. Saucer pass across for Kuzmenski. 9.54 left here in the third. Kuzmenski with it in the corner. DiCarlo knocks it off of his stick. Here's Schoen now. He works it up top for Reed. Now back down low for Schoen. He works the half wall, has his shot go wide of the net. Parikh pinches it off his right point. He's able to keep it deep as Visaki takes over for the hitman. He'll go D to D. Now DiCarlo plays that one up. Reed keeps it at the line. Kuzmenski gets called for a hand pass there. As we get another whistle with... Knights goal scored by number 24, Nick Vasili. Assist to number 19, Jake Petrante. That's Vasili from Petrante at 739. And just want to point out, Vasili, he's had a couple of chances here. He's looked like he was going to finally get one, and there it is. Absolutely. He's been a strong showing so far for the Knights this season. A big opening weekend here at the Revolution Ice Center. The Knights put up a bunch of gloves away. A lot of chaos in front right now. The Hitmen are able to keep it. Oh, that was a really, really bad change by the Knights. 
Four on two for the hitmen for about five to seven seconds Here's there. Here's Vander Platt. Now McDade over for Kierka. He's got some space. He tries to go top shelf. That one over the goal. McDade now at the blue line. Now Vander Platt. Rosen and Vasily battling in front for position. Here's Asante. His shot blocked by Vasily into the netting. As we'll get another whistle with 2.54. And you can probably hear through my microphone how loud this Knights fan base is right now. 2.54 left to play here in the third. Yeah, you really, you love to see it. But again, that, after I believe it was Hasenauer had a huge hit on the blue line, and then him and another Knight decided to change. The puck wasn't out of the zone. So the Knights will look to tighten up here with just 2.50 left to play. Ryan's able to clear it the length of the ice. The Carlo back for the Hitmen. He's gonna gain control. He'll start up ice for the Hitmen. Out of his own zone, now through the neutral zone and into the night zone. He'll wrap it around the boards, looking for Sioki. He gets run into by Cunningham. Mariotti with the puck. He tries to clear up the middle again. As that one, Ryan knocks off the skate of Carlucci and into the bench. A strong play by Ryan to get himself... Uh... Free blocker side showing in the face-off circle for the Knights. Rosen wins that one. Knights are able to clear. Nolan throws one off the wall, reads the first one there for the Knights. He'll get it up for Kuzmenski, and he'll clear into the zone. Yeah, Nolan needed to be more aggressive there for the hitman when they were in the offensive zone. Don't let that puck get out. Absolutely. Campbell has his pass go awry as Reed starts up for the hitman. Reed puts that one into the corner. A big shot from Bailey goes off of Reed's pad and into the slot. 30 seconds left here. Gandora behind the net. Reed with it. Carter still in the net. As Cunningham's able to clear out, Bailey at center ice. He'll play D to D for Nolan. And just 20 seconds left here. Kuzmenski goes through the middle for Cunningham. Now up the wall for Schoen. 10 seconds left. He'll throw it in deep. As you can hear, the Knights faithful getting rowdy here with just five seconds as Rowan's and stick goes flying. He gets taken out by Cunningham as he's going to end up with a penalty at the end. <laughs> 